Cool. So I want to say thanks to Tom and other teammates that helped make this deck. Um, so I am the CEO of Metaculus, and I want to share what we're doing and the new tournament we are about to launch with you all that I'm pretty excited about. So at Metaculus, our goal is making forecasting useful. We are a forecasting aggregation platform, and our core focus is how can we identify critical inflection points in the near future using collective intelligence. We have plenty of people that have been thinking about how will new technical developments ranging from AI to bioengineering, SynBio, all the way to geopolitics, how will these be shaping our lives, both in short and long term? Um, the reason why Metaculus exists is um, to, be, sorry, to be able to figure out what are the future scenarios that we will encounter and how these will diverge. Um, I want to give a very quick snapshot for folks that might not uh, have come across Metaculus in the past. Is this legible? It is not. I will zoom in to a, uh, a quick snapshot of Metaculus. Basically, it is a platform where we have a lot of uh, open-ended questions that can have multiple choice, continuous or binary questions that um, we are curious about. Uh, these questions are written mostly by our teammates. We do take suggestions on what kinds of domains that we want to zoom in on and um, basically ask of the large community that is forecasting on Metaculus what they think the, um, the final snapshot will look like. Like for example, on June 28th, 2024, will NVIDIA's market cap be larger than Apple's? We do see that there was a trajectory where this forecast has gone up and then gone down, for example, with the recent news coming out. Um, we have a number of different topics where we get a lot of folks forecasting on. And um, a lot of our forecasts are currently done with humans doing research, probably with some level of combination of Google and AI tools, and coming up with conclusions. Um, happy to share more information afterwards on General Metaculus if you're curious, and do check out our website. Um, one of the things I'm excited about is the introduction of bots um, to Metaculus. In fact, we already have a number of these. We are interested in how will AI tooling in the short run be able to help us do better forecasting? Um, and um, what are the steps that we can take to get uh, bots to be uh, competent in helping humans forecast and also replicate the forecasting flow? So we are launching a tournament um, that focuses on the best folks that are good at LLM um, prompt engineering to try their shot at figuring out what is the current level of AI competence so that we can benchmark the state of AI towards forecasting. Um, what we provide from Metaculous side is the infrastructure and a tournament. And um, we will have a tournament starting on July 1st. And the goal is what is the state of human forecasts and how does just purely AI forecast that does not take input from humans regularly on every question compare and what is the skill gap between each other? So in the uh, quarterly cup that is going to start on July 1st, we have a quarterly cup every quarter. Um, we are interested in finding folks that are good at building language models, um, language model tools. Um, so. Um, I'd like to give a quick snapshot on things, a flow that you can go through, and we will share a link for anyone that is interested in uh, focusing on this further. Um, the way we structure the tournament is, um, and we have had uh, plenty of different um, tournaments at Metaculus. I want to pull up example tournaments that um, exist. So some of our tournaments have specific domain, like forecasting Chinese AI chips or bio-risk outlook. Some of our tournaments have a prize pool. Um, we do have a quarterly cup that is fairly regular where all of the questions that are being forecasted will have a resolution moment, which means the real answer to the question will be determined in a short time window. I'm clicking on it to see if it loads, but it might not load. Um, so we will be launching a tournament that focuses on AI forecasting. I'm trying to switch tabs, but it looks like my screen has crashed at this point. So I guess I will just go on describing it myself from now onwards. Um, so the AI tournament will have a total prize pool of 120K. Um, 80K of this will be allocated for language model bots and 40K will be allocated for human forecasters over the four quarters. So for the purely judging the AI, we will have a range of 300 to 600 binary questions that we will ask in Q3. 
And the questions will be open for a short window. And in this short window, you will have to send your answers but through the API. Um, and we will score based on the final forecast from there. Um, if you're interested in participating, come talk to us um, afterwards, or you can also reach out online. Um, we do want your feedback around this. I won't go into this in too much detail for just um, time scale, but um, just take a snapshot of this QR code or go to the tiny URL. We would love to hear from you on what kinds of things that you would be interested in seeing. Um, there's a lot of considerations as we are trying to figure out how we should combine AI and human, as because the AI inputs are not necessarily going to add to the level of epistemic security that we would like to seek and provide from Metaculus. So what are systems that we can put in place so that we can both benchmark AI competence without necessarily preventing AIs to contribute, or AIs that you have built to contribute, but also to make sure that we can keep that separate from the state of human forecasting. Um, so we want to share a very quick snapshot on something that you could try if you would like to participate. You can do it on your phone or on your laptop. Um, if you go to this URL, which is metaculous.com slash AIB, um, you can sign up with an account that uh, will be your bot account. Um, this is a trick that Tom pointed out to me, which was the first time I learned it, which is pretty cool. Um, instead of your normal email, you can add a plus sign, and with the plus bot, you can basically get all of the emails to the same inbox to you, but they will all be coming in from a specific channel. So that way you can create sub, in a way like subdomains for your email inbox, which I thought is pretty neat. Um, so you can just have your own email, but just say plus bot, or you can say plus whatever at part of your email URL. And then there will be an email that comes in, and when you click, um, it might go to your spam. If that happens, check it over there. Um, you can click and register and activate your account. And then we can walk you through a short example of uh, using AI for forecasting. I will pause there to hear if there are any questions. Um, just for time's sake, I kind of went fast and didn't share a lot of context about you know, how Metaculous works. So if there are folks that are curious about that, also happy to take some questions on that front. So um, it should bring you to a page that looks roughly like this, which will say Metaculous AI Benchmarking Pilot. Um, here you will see basically two parts uh, to the discussion that I want to quickly highlight a possibility, especially if you are technical slash want to build things from the back end, there is an arrow here that says your token. From here, you can basically get your API token, and we have a collab notebook that we will share at the end that our teammate Ellis has built, where you can see a detailed way to use the, um, the API and all of the calls. This might be kind of difficult to show, I won't walk through this document, but basically, if you're interested in building a competitive bot, this would be the link that you would want to start at. Um, but kind of going back, again, this will take a minute for me to switch tabs, which I forgot. Um, for the workshop, what I wanted to walk you all through is basically, we have an interface where you can drop in your um, OpenAI key or using you know any of the um, open language models that you would like to use. Um, and try your chance at uh, some level of prompt engineering to see what kind of forecast that um, would be able to do a good job. So the prompt example that you should see on the screen is something like this. So yeah, um, it will land you on this page. Um, you can basically pick the number of questions that you would like to forecast. If you don't specifically pick a question, it will forecast one of the questions from the tournament. And um, it will be able to fetch automatically the title, the summary report, and the background. And um, what you can do is we have a tournament called the AI Benchmarking Warm-Up. You can use the questions there um, to try to forecast. Um, all of the questions will have a little bit of information, and your forecasting bot will basically fetch that information as starters. I would recommend trying different things um, with the prompt, just even simple changes like you know, describing the, telling the language model to role play a specific character who's an expert forecaster or an epidemiologist will change how it reacts to the information that it is receiving. Um, yeah, we are quite interested in different systems, especially um, 
the private sandbox that we have live right now with the AI benchmarking warm up. Try different strategies. Um, this will not count towards the tournament, but we're pretty excited for getting um, votes from the tournament. The LLM forecast seems to do much better if you are using some level of swarm intelligence, which I would call if you're asking the same question to multiple different language models and aggregating the responses from them, or asking the same language model multiple times, it will come up with a range of different questions. So the the wisdom of the swarm maps the wisdom of the crowd fairly well, actually, which is what we use at Metaculous too. When you ask a question to a large number of people, we do get accurate results that seems to work. And language model seems to be able to replicate that to some extent, so that I find quite interesting. Um, another one is um, chain of thought reasoning, explaining in between steps or adding multiple prompt calls that you're gradually building, such as what are the base rates of this forecast? Has this happened in the past? How often is this likely to happen? And asking these as explicit questions and passing on the information seems to create much better results. In the view that you see, there's a bunch of um, green fields. Um, you can um, shift and play with this as you wish. Um, the summary report will give a report from perplexity, so you can receive a wide window of information that is incoming from there and shift from there. Yeah, I am interested in folks trying this. The um, the sandbox tournament is open, um, and the tournament, the real tournament, will be launching on July first. So, if any of the folks are interested in, you know, submitting a bot like us to help subsidize either with resources, on um, you know, support and advice, or on you know credits so that you can use it towards this, again, come talk to us. Thank you.